All right, so today I'm going to go over how to make a simple uh, threshold effect in Spark. Um, repository will be up at Posit Labs Spark Threshold. Um, so here's what it looks like. I'm going to work backwards. Um, I'll just delete everything basically and uh, build it and explain what's going on. Um, so this is just something I like doing just because I feel like it saves space, um, makes your effect smaller. Um, so users get it faster just to like keep your stuff clean. Um, anyway, I've done this several times in other tutorials, but this is basically a 2D image processing setup. So you have a canvas and a rectangle. The rectangle has material. It's flat. Um, and then you, you grab the camera texture and type it in. Um, so first thing we need to do for this effect is to get a black and white image because the idea is um, like all the darker areas will be pure black um, and it'll cut off. So to make a black and white image, you these values are kind of arbitrary. I'm, I'm sure there's some science to them, but the idea is that your eye picks up colors, um, some colors better than others. So like blue, for some reason, our eyes don't pick up much of. So this value is super low. Uh, I can zoom in here. That's a good idea. Um, and then red is pretty good. And then, uh, or um, green, sorry. And then red is uh, 0.2, so not too good on that. Um, so to get a black and white image using this, you do dot product and you pass in luminance values and we're going to do RGB. Um, and the output of dot product is just a, a single value. So we, we want a swizzle and we're just going to get three of that same value. So XXX, and then that's going to be black and white, except we need alpha. So we'll do pack, and like pack is pretty cool because you don't actually have to manually pack every single value. You can do a, a vector three, and then a alpha, and it'll pack it into a vector four. Pretty convenient. So here's our black and white image, um, which is useful on its own. You might need black and white for various purposes. Um, but we want, we're going to cut out everything above a certain range. So to do that, uh, there's a, a patch called step. And you can just define the threshold edge, let's say like 0.3 and then you pipe in the black and white and there you go. So this could be kind of a cool effect on its own. Um, maybe with some more color treatment. Um, it's got like a cell shaded look. Uh, but let's say I, I only want to um, compress the blacks in the original image. So to do that, you just add in, or not add, uh, multiply the original and the, the black and white. And then that's gonna be our output. So you can see there's blacks um, threshold. It's pretty cool. Um, you might want it not to be such a hard edge though, um, just depending on what you're going for, because this is this is pretty extreme. Um, so instead of step, there's another patch called smooth step, and it makes it more of a gradient. Um, why didn't that do anything? Oh, because I plugged it into step. 
So you can see, sort of, it's it's just going from zero to one, so there's no real threshold yet, but if we put the, the max edge to 0.3, now I'm having trouble seeing it. So let's undo that multiply. Yeah, so much subtler, and we'll go to 0.5, and then uh, plug it back in. So it's kind of like a, well, contrast, except without punching the highlights. So that's pretty much it. We'll do like point two. Oops. I don't know. This one's pretty subtle. Yeah. So there you have it. Um, if you guys want to know about a specific topic, let me know. Um, I'm always trying to find new topics to do tutorials on. Um, hit subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.